Hey guys, Tommy Jordan here from Stanley County coming to you to talk about being stupid and why you should stop doing it. Ah! Okay, real quick, I'm gonna try to make this fast, make this video short because people like to share short stuff and not long stuff. So I'll just yell at you real quick, all right? I'm gonna get this out. I'm just not gonna filter it, but I'll be, I, I won't use bad words, maybe. Number one, all you people going out to re restaurants in this county, Sweet Frog, Jalapenos, yeah, I'm talking about you. Wherever it is you're trying to go congregate and sit down, stop it! For God's sake, quit it! If you own a restaurant, have, then I'm speaking to you for a second. Have you lost your ever-loving mind? If you got chairs out front, take them up. It is a violation of the current uh, abatement order attached to Executive Order 118 by the governor's office on Friday to have people eating anywhere near or drinking or doing anything else or even sitting down anywhere near your restaurant or your place that serves food or your place that serves drinks. So if you own a restaurant or a bar and there's a chair on any piece of property that happens to belong to you, take it up and put it out back where it can't be used, okay? Because here's what's going to happen. There's two people at fault here. One, restaurants. Two, stupid people going to them, okay? Here's how you go to a restaurant right now in the middle of a pandemic. Hi, I'm so-and-so, I'd like a so-and-so. Here's my credit card, thank you. Uh-huh, uh-huh, wait the perfect amount of time. Here's my food, thank you. This is me getting in my car and going to hell home. Or anywhere else. I don't care if you go sit on your tailgate across the parking lot. That's a great idea, in my personal opinion. That has no legal weight whatsoever. That's just my personal opinion. If it was me, I'd go to cookout, get me a barbecue sandwich, no coleslaw, because that's how God intended it. Texas Pete is fine. Thank you, a Coke. Appreciate that. It's like eighteen freaking dollars, but that's fine. And I'll go sit in the tailgate of my pickup truck with my Coke and eat my barbecue sandwich. That may be okay, but if I go sit outside the cookout or Sweet Frog in Albemarle, and you know you're doing this right now, so cut it out, and and let people sit down and hang out outside my place with their food and drink in their hand, the governor's going to shut every restaurant in this state down. Let me be clear. That's what's going to happen next. He made the first executive order, told people to quit congregating. You didn't listen. He made a, You specifically tried to find ways to get creative and get around it. He made another executive order, order specifically targeting places where people gather in groups, like a restaurant. Because his guidance is no more than 10 people in a, in a group anywhere. That's the guidance coming to the state leadership, coming to county leadership. Discourage anything about 10 people or more. So keep that in your mind. If it's a restaurant, there's already about six people there anyway. They work there. So you're, you and your wife and your family of two walk in, guess what? The restaurant's now full. Nobody else is supposed to come there. Do you get the hell out, all right? So let's figure this out. The governor then rates another executive order because restaurants aren't listening, specifically stating what you can't do. And the newest abatement order attached to Executive Order 118 pretty much says you cannot be on the premises of a restaurant at all doing anything except getting your food and getting the hell out. No eating, no drinking, no nothing. No, no, no interpretation. The law is clear. But here's, here's what's going to happen. Restaurants, if you don't start enforcing this, I know times are tough. I want you to be open because I want to go to you. I already tried to go to off the square to get me a dragon burger. No luck. I'm, God knows, don't take away my ability to get my cookout. Ah! I want my barbecue sandwich. I want my blueberry biscuits. And I want my sausage and cheese biscuits. I want to frequent your places to buy your food. But if you keep doing this stupid shit, I won't be able to because you will all be at home and you will be closed. Stop letting people congregate. And people, quit doing it. When I swear to God, I'd love, I wish every single one of you would get a ticket and have your name put on the a wall somewhere so I can go find you and blame you as soon as the governor shuts down all restaurants across the state because that's what's going to happen next if you people don't listen. I don't know how to be any more clear. That's gospel. That's going to happen. If you don't cut it out, it will happen. Think I'm making this shit up? Go open the news and check out California. Check out New York. We, we can be just like them. We don't want to be. The government doesn't want to do it. The governor doesn't want to do it. The county sure as hell doesn't want to do it. And municipalities don't want to do it. And to be clear, some of you out there might have the stupid ass response that, well, if it was against the law, the sheriff would be arresting people for it. And since he's not arresting people for it, it's not against the law. Bull. The sheriff is not showing up to kick a sweet little old lady out of Sweet Frog because those optics suck. Nobody wants to do that. No one's voting for that guy. No one's going to like the police chief that does that or the deputy sheriff that does that. Or Cops don't want to be in this position. This is not their normal job. And who are you going to blame? 
your dumb ass for going? Nope. You're going to blame the cop that arrested you and kicked you off the McDonald's parking lot because what a stupid ticket that is to get. So just because of that, they're not going to write these tickets. They're not going to arrest people. They're going to wait and let the governor get so pissed off that he shuts down all restaurants rather than do to you what you should be doing to yourself, and that's kick yourself out and go home. I'm not making it up, guys. I'm telling you what's coming out of the state, what's coming out of the federal government. I don't know why you can't read the news for yourself. But Stanley County, wake up. If you want to have restaurants left to go back to, they're struggling as it is. They're going to have a hard three months, maybe five months ahead of them, in my personal opinion. They're going to have the, the hardest five months of their lives ahead of them. If you want them to have any chance of being open whatsoever, follow the spirit of the law, not the letter of the law. Do what the law intended, not what the law... Don't look for ways to get around it. The rule is go get your food, get out. Go get your drink. Get out. That's it. Don't hang out. Don't. I'm getting phone calls. I'm literally getting phone calls. There's people sitting outside of Sweet Frog right now. Oh my God. I got better things to do today than this. We all got better things to do today. Law enforcement is going to get phone calls because of your people sitting outside of Sweet Frog. Um, I think Glory Beans pulled their chairs up. You know, stop it, people. Go home. All right. Nobody's got time for this crap. There's more important stuff going on than trying to make people follow rules that they should have figured out by now. I don't have to say it. I support our restaurants. I want them to be open. If they don't change what they're doing and you people don't stop getting them in trouble, there won't be any restaurants left in this town. And if I can't get my cookout or the Lord's chicken, it's going to be bad. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Y'all do what you want. I've warned you. Tommy out. I said, ow, ow. I can't even hit the button.